So I want to show you how extraordinarily easy Book Creator is to use in the classroom and why it can be used from kindergarten to 12th grade. So to get to this point, I typed in app.bookcreator.com and I came to a library, but let me show you how I got there. I got there by selecting this option at the top and I went down to this master class library. And when I did that, it's showing me a book that someone has already done. But I want to add to this particular library, so I'm going to go up to the top to where it says, to the left hand side where it says new book. I'm going to select that and it gives me the option to choose from a regular type of book to mm -hmm. at the bottom a comic book which is really fun and that's kind of what you just saw a moment ago. But I'm going to choose regular book. I like the square one, I'm really fond of it. And now I have a blank canvas, and this is actually my cover. So I'm gonna make a cover right now to show you how to use this. So using the add button, and there's only the add and the information button, so let me add a photo. So you can see that I can import a photo, which I'm going to do in a second. I can open a camera, a webcam, I can video myself, or I can take a picture of myself. I can use the pen tool, I can add text, and I can record myself speaking. This is amazing because of all the information we can gather about student learning and growth here. So first I'm gonna import something. I can choose to import a file from um, Google Image Search or Google Drive. And I've already gone to Google Drive and I have already placed my dog's photo, Bella, inside of a folder. So I'm gonna select this and it's gonna place it right in on the um, canvas. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to make it a little smaller so that I can put it more in the middle. And it will give me a pl place to add text. So I'm going to add text. This is Bella. And when I'm done, I can add that. And I might just want to drag it to the bottom here and kind of line it up. Now, if I want to change what this looks like, I keep this selected and I go over to this I button. And there I can make the text bigger. I can change the text to a different font. I might go back and choose a different color. So I'm gonna choose white because I'm gonna make the background um, a different color. You can't see this text now, but you will in a second when I choose to change the page background, which I'm gonna make blue. So now you can see this is Bella's there. I may actually want to go back and make this bold since um, it'll show up better. So now I have a picture, text, and I can now add a recording of myself saying something about Bella. So it's gonna record right now. This is my dog, Bella. She is my favorite little creature. I can use this recording and it's gonna place it right on my book in the middle. And I'm gonna drag it to say right here, people who are reading my book, there is a sound clip. And so that is how easy it is to add things to Book Creator. Now, I want to show you what else you can do. So I'm going to go back to my books and it's going to show this library where this new book is. And here's the comic book that someone else had made. If I sh use the share button, well first, let's look at this. It's called a new book. That's boring. I'm going to call it Bella's Story. So now I have created a title for it. It's by Holly Clark, me. And I'm going to share this. And the importance of this is with the paid for version, I can now collaborate. I can start collaboration, which means this button, you can see it here for both of these books, means hello, come write in my book with me or come collaborate or read or help me edit my book. And this is the most important part because I think that this collaborative creation process that Book Creator allows us to do is just amazing for a Chromebook classroom. I can import the book, I can move to a different library, I can copy it, I can combine books. So if I wanted to combine this book with this book, I could do that. I can also publish it online. I can stop the collaboration if I'm done with that. And I could download as an ebook or print, but I'm not gonna do any of those right now. I just wanted to show you how extraordinarily easy it is to use Book Creator as a creation tool.